So how did this nuclear pasta, become the strongest material of the universe? Well, it's because it's created inside neutron stars that act like, extreme pressure cookers. Neutron stars are the stellar corpses of massive stars, that have run out of fuel and exploded as supernovas. These tiny spinning objects, are only a dozen or so miles wide and yet, pack in the entire mass of our sun. They're so dense that, only a teaspoonful of neutron star matter, weighs as much as a mountain on Earth. Neutron stars are therefore, not composed of normal matter but rather degenerate matter, extremely compact neutrons that are crushed together, under incredibly powerful gravitational forces. Neutron stars are made up of several layers, the outermost zone is known as the crust. It's made up of the outer crust and the inner crust, and the whole thing stretches about a kilometer down from the surface. Scientists think that atoms at the surface, aren't very dense at all. But the further down you go in the outer crust, the tighter the squeeze gets until the atoms are so close together, that their electrons escape and their nuclei form a tightly bound lattice structure. Go even deeper into the inner crust, and those nuclei are so tightly packed, that they start to arrange themselves into bizarre shapes, shapes that look a lot like pasta. This is what physicists Charles Horowitz, Andre D. A. Silverschneider, and Matt Kaplan call the pasta layer. Some of these nuclear structures are flattened into lasagna-like sheets, others stretched into strands like spaghetti. You've got your dumpling-like, gnocchi, and your dupe-shaped, bucatini too. You've even got anti-pasta, and anti-spaghetti, which is nuclear matter punched through with tunnels, and anti-gnocchi is full of holes like Swiss cheese. Also, there are nuclear waffles, because who doesn't like waffles? According to the models, the density of nuclear pasta makes it 10 billion times stronger than steel. That's far and away the most durable material in the known universe. The simulations also suggest that, the instability of nuclear pasta could result in gravitational waves, which have only been confirmed in cataclysmic events like the collision of two black holes. According to these simulations, the nuclear pastu is stiff enough to support mountains tens of kilometers tall, which are definitely big enough, to produce the kinds of continuous gravitational waves, that LIGO is now looking for. So nuclear pastu is possible. Who's hungry for spaghetti? Well, I'm going. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching, see you next time.